So I love good movies, bad movies, everything in between, and there's a free streaming platform called Tubi that has a wide variety of films. Some are some hidden gems, some not so great, but like I said, I love all kinds of movies. So today I'm watching the 1988 film Picasso Trigger. The title reminds me of Miami Connection or Samurai Cop, just like two words together that shouldn't go together. So I'm anticipating something along those lines with, you know, Trigger in the title. I'm anticipating more of an action movie and with it coming out in the 80s, I love 80s movies, so I'm kind of hoping for a cheesy 80s movie, but I don't know the plot, the cast, anything like that. The only thing I can think of with Picasso obviously being, you know, an artist and Trigger, maybe it's like an art heist movie. They're trying to steal some paintings or something like that. That's the only thing I can think of. But I'm very curious to check it out and see what it's all about. So thank you so much for sharing in this first time watching with me. If you have any other suggestions for movies you think I should watch, please comment below. And if you want to have a say in what movies or TV shows I watch, be sure to join Patreon. And as always, please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel, and check back often for more awesome content. Very intense right off the start with this music, okay. And is this supposed to be like a Picasso painting in the background? I don't recognize any of the cast. Oh, that's the character's name? It's Picasso Trigger? Okay. Yeah, I don't recognize that name, so I'm curious to see where this is gonna go. Is that the package from Miguel Ortiz? Yes, sir. Open it. And right off the bat, we've got some lovely stiff acting. Okay, here we go. Oh, we sent in a VHS. Yes. With your leadership, your support, we have taken the first step towards complete revenge. What is even L scar on his chest? And look at the sidecar. Yes, I love it. This music is crazy. He's got a VHS tape saying the FBI has killed this guy's brother. It's one way to set up the story, just play a VHS tape trying to explain the plot, sure. The Picasso Trigger. Hey, that's the name of the movie. World-renowned artist, Guillermo Esteban. Oh, it's the name of a painting, not, okay. I came to the conclusion that it represented a, a philosophy that I wanted to express. It's a fish. It's a painting of a fish. It allows him to ignore that the Picasso Trigger it's actually your code name. Why has many faces? It's not very subtle. It's not a great spy. Oh my. He had a shotgun in that little sidecar? Okay. Oh my god, he's already being assassinated. Cheese and rice. No blood on his suit, but all over the wall. Oh, there it is. Okay. And they're off. I haven't seen many escape vehicles with a sidecar, but hey. Is that it? They just kill off the main character? Are we done now? Calling from Dallas. You still on that beautiful boat? You bet. Living good is the best revenge. Oh my god, it's so cheesy. I love it. Spend 80% of it on good whiskey, fast cars, and faster women. The other 20% I just pissed away. <laughs> Picasso Trigger is dead. Yeah, our main character's gone. What the heck? I'll tell you what. You make them feel loved. Give these guys flowers that have these like homing devices in them. Oh my god. He's like, I'm out of here. Job done. Let's go, Fred. The homing device is in the hotel flower. Let's do it. Why do these movies always have helicopters also? Like, I'm gonna assume their budget couldn't have been that big, and now they're doing a helicopter tour across Vegas? Land of Spain, where his remains will be cremated. Jeez, what the hell is that? What? Damn! Yeah, if they're supposed to be cra tracking these guys, they're doing it in a chopper, like, very subtle. All right, all right, where's my gun? I can't, we're I love it. I don't know where it's gonna go, but we're already having a shootout in the desert with this helicopter. 
Oh, and now we have an exploding car. Amazing. Oh, the windshield. Okay. The ones with the flower have been scattered this hour. Let's go. The rhyme. I can't. I can't even roll my eyes hard enough at that. Oh my god, I love it. The ones with the flower have been scattered this hour. He pages them. Oh my god. Why are they killing these two? What is happening? Oh, oh, cheese and rice. Body count is adding up already. That's two for our side. Whose sides? Give them a lay, blow them away. Oh my God, the puns after they kill people are too much. It's a shame we gotta waste a couple of good looking broads. They've been nothing but trouble. <laughs> Except they're not on the boat. I'm sure they're gonna blow it up. Yeah. Can I read you loud and clear, sir? Do it. It'll be sweet revenge for me. That's the name of the film is Revenge. Dun, 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 dun. Why is it circling our boat? I don't know. It's getting awfully close. It's gonna hit it. Oh, yep. Yeah. Saw that coming. Yeah, another explosion. Except they survived. Look at our boat, Donna. That could have been us. <laughs> What's their pun going to be this time? Hmm? Oh, it's definitely not moving at all. Oh, dang it. That was supposed to be him. Another explosion. They're like, we got it. We're the best hitman ever. Now meet me tomorrow morning at Big Pines Lodge on Cato Lake. I'll have full dossiers for you by then. Adios. I don't think enough people use the word dossier. It's just fun to say. Rabbit. His cow themed briefcase. Wow, this guy. No, impossible. The federal government wouldn't allow that to happen to you. I sure hope you're right. Yeah, I'm curious to see where it's gonna go. The acting's not great, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. The storyline's a bit all over the place, but here we are. Not bad looking. I might just make my move. Is that a snorkel in his pocket or is he just happy to see me? Oh my god. These two are supposed to be FBI agents. Snorkel, Karen. <laughs> Is this the new outfit attire for people who work at aquariums? A onesie, unzipped. Why are they have matching outfits? Oh my gosh. I'm very curious to find out what the budget for this was because there's a lot of fancy cars, helicopters, scenic shots of airplanes. Unless they spent the whole budget on stock footage, which is also possible. Oh, my. You are captain of the football team, and I was just another one of your conquests. Oh, my. They've got history. Okay. Special. So were you. I wonder, is it the band Pantera get their name from this character? I have no idea. I've never, I'm not Just really into the their music, but I know they're a band. My life on the line for the government has had its upside. What's the deal? Like this velvet couch, you mean? Hmm. Practically immune to emotion. Again, another scene I'm questioning the involvement with the plot, but hey, there we go. Just some line dancing. Why not? We stuck in this place? Sure. We slept in the living room on the floor in front of the fire. Oh, my. You know, I had rug burns on my rear for a week. Oh, my. It was worth it. This guy's mullet is next level. He's like, hey, hey, th there they are. Hey, hey, let's point and stare at them. Hey, 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 did you see him? Uh, 
Ah, uh, yes, the cheesy montage. Here we go. Wouldn't be an 80s movie without the romantic cheesy montage. Oh my. Hope the cat doesn't see this. Is that a real town name, Uncertain, or did they make it up for the movie? It's a real show and tell. You seem to be staring at me. <laughs> well, we go back a long way. Yeah. Kill him to find out that he botched it up. And this guy wearing his, like, fishing vest with his, like, lures in his pockets. Okay, we hooked him. They're coming. Since another montage coming up, music's getting ready. It's peak 80s soundtrack, I love it. Oh, a boat getaway, take that. You'll never take us now. I wonder if that was intentional or not. She's like, I'll find my own boat, don't you worry. They're re really utilizing every mode of transportation in this one. A shootout in the swamp. I feel like 90% of whatever budget they had went to these action sequences. And they're not bad. I mean, they're not great, but, you know, instead of focusing on the story, they just threw in a bunch of action. Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> he fell even before yet. There's no way that worked out, but either way, she got him. He's not even like going, oh, shot. It's like he's not even going back for his buddy. Yep. Yeah. Son of a bitch is shooting a little high. <laughs> <laughs> These two, oh my gosh. As the boat's just gonna stop, yeah. You shot at him 20 times and missed. <laughs> Why is Thursday important? They have not announced any other time or days or anything, but now suddenly Thursday is highlight that. Assist us. What do you say we get the meeting started, huh? I agree. This is like a big cast for... Whatever this is, whatever you can call this. You leave tonight on the 10 p.m. to Honolulu. You'll also set up the communication network for the rest of us. Why is he standing directly in front of the projector for this, like, dark shadow? What? One more thing. Expect the worst. And this accused this happy, like, after-school special music. Oh my gosh, this movie's ridiculous. Is he still looking for the jealous bone in her body? Okay, this weekend. That's right. He's no pro at golf, but I uh, sure can't use his driver. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. You just throw the guy a cigarette. He doesn't even watch the ball go in. He's like, I got this. I don't need to watch. Here's a C note. Take that young lady to dinner. Come on, Willie. Young lady. The characters in this are becoming intense. Now we've got Jimmy John, the golfer. Speaking of golf, want to put her around? Your card or mine? <laughs> I love cheesy puns, but that was too much. Too much. Well, since you got that straight, how would you like to become an honorary member of the Mile High Club? Oh my god, this guy. Real subtle. We're taking it on the road? As long as someone's selling tickets, my tail is shaking. She's got the right attitude. Yeah. This is strictly business. <laughs> it's so, like, wooden. It's no emotion. For our foreign clientele, we need something more provocative and risque, if you get my meaning. 
Corbin for just about anything. Oh, my. Thing for money. This is going to make Charles William Patterson very happy. I've always loved your back. <laughs> what a weird what? Seven times already? Professor! Professor, would you like a Danish? <laughs> would I? <laughs> I don't need this newspaper. We've got Danishes. But I am Swedish, you fool. Well, Danish, Swedish, it's all the same. Oh my god. Hi. Hi, Inga. Hey. Well, Professor, this is certainly a beautiful view. Well, you gotta pay the price for paradise. Now, who's the professor? They're just adding in characters every five minutes. Right. But also wrong. When you attach the explosives, this car takes on a whole new meaning. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> See this car? It's harmless. Add the explosions. Look out. Study. To a boomerang? Somehow I think that might affect its flying, but hey. See what happens. Killing is an art form. You're right. Killing is an art form. Is he going to kill people with his crutch and his orange juice? Is that what we're going with? Oh, Saturday! Da 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 da! With these two red streaks through it. This guy never does up his shirt. Every scene we see him in is like shirts completely unzipped. Especially like at the aquarium. Now he's pretending to work for the phone company. Some professionalism, sir. Oh my god, it's a phone briefcase with a gun. Okay, sure. Yeah, we live here. For a guy that you think would have a lot of enemies, he's sure giving away his location real quick. Okay, I'll get you later, pancakes. What's her name actually? Pancakes? Is that what we're going with? How many hot tub scenes? How many gratuitous hot tub scenes does one movie need? You gentlemen are under arrest. You have the right to remain- <laughs> oh. <laughs> That guy just chopped his badge in half. That was so bad. I love it. Oh my god. <laughs> Give him the chops. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. What move is that? Whoa! Ooh! <laughs> Somehow just stabbed him in the eye. Oh, right in the bits. I wasn't expecting eye gouging. Good night. And now for a little banjo music. Okay, you turkeys, freeze! <laughs> That's not a banjo at all! Oh my god, this is so ridiculous, I love it. Ooh! It's like, I don't need any weapons. I got my shiny pants and my kicking shoes. You're punching them on the way up and the way down. Oh god. What? What? Okay, just threw him out the window. Amazing. Oh my god. It's still going. Breaking through this drywall. He's alive! Hey, don't even blink! He doesn't have any eyes. <laughs> Amazing. So bad, I love it. Just gushing down his face. This movie is many things. Boring is not one of them. There's there's always something going on. How are we gonna get him? Got you a surprise from the professor. This boomerang, yes. Isn't a boomerang supposed to come back? Well, he just blew that up. Yeah, goodbye. It's just like body floats in the air. Oh my gosh. Your weapon. Check the ground. Our plan must not be compromised. Well, don't forget your pager. I'm sure there's a hilarious pun waiting for you. With the binoculars, he doesn't see the bright yellow dirt bike. Go 
don't think she brought this harmless car until you attach the explosives. I know, we've got FBI agents, but we'll send in the remote control car to take him out. <laughs> the best footage of the film. Oh, up the surfboard, through the paper wall. Bye! Ooh, she harpooned him. With explosives attacks to the outside, yeah. Goodbye! <laughs> they love their explosions. What is this? A binocular for one? A monocle? I feel like she's setting him into a trap. There's the fish. Whoa, what? Is he alive? What? Faked his own death. Mr. Aveline. Nice of you to limp by. <laughs> oh, God, that's horrible. You're expecting me. Oh, my guy's got a laser beam at the end of his crutch. What? It's a weapon. Oh, my God. Let me just program it with this crutch calculator. Beep boop, beep boop, beep boop. Major corporations. Power struggles are resolved by stock options, bonuses. He's like, let me just take apart my fake cast here and get out my bullets. My world's a little different. Oh my god, this crutch gun is gonna be amazing. The painting of a Picasso triggerfish. Creature that rips out the underbellies of his adversary. Oh, that's graphic. Is that a real fish? You asshole. What? Just as the protective screens drop from above? The crutch gun was a cool prop though. 10 out of 10. That's a long story. It's like, let's not talk about it right now. Let's just smooch. Oh, oh, oh God. What is happening? Who harpooned her? She's gonna stab him in the butt. Pantera, you traitor! You knew that. Yeah. I knew that. And the Oscar goes too. <laughs> what is this? Is it an inflatable boat? What? He does have terrible aim. Yeah, and he's like three feet away. Oh my god. He's like, skip it to me. I'm out of here. Good thing there's another boat just ready for Travis. <laughs> Weirdest escape vehicle ever. Oh my god. With like a motorcycle helmet. Hold it right there, Salazar. Don't try anything. Keep those hands up or I'll shoot. This hovercraft, I can't. Oh! Still missing. Still missing it. This guy. This is, you know, one heck of a ending taking out this, uh... The rival. Oh my gosh. She's like, let me get my harpoon ready. <laughs> Dang! They do love to blow stuff up. Yep, there he goes. There's no way you can survive that one, right? Come on. Women. Easy come, easy go. How is he still alive? <laughs> what is happening? So you. Oh! Someone else was on the boat, obviously. We didn't really see them. They had the helmet on, but... Just shooting this guy to prove that people are expendable? Okay. Is 
This guy just won't die already. What is he using now as crutch for? Another explosion? A rocket? They can somehow target him with a rocket? Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Third time's the charm. Now he's actually dead. He's like, we did it, honey. We blew him up. Using our calculator on this crutch and a rocket. You see, I had a hunch. So I set the computer to the coordinates on the pacemaker. The homing device. Wow, 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 wow. Or is it? Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. She's like, I'll just keep this million dollar painting. Yeah. <laughs> and that's the end. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is the montage they chose. Oh, patty cakes, not pancakes. Okay. I was worried there would be nobody listed for stunts. I love an original theme song. Yes. Playboy? Okay. Sure. I think they don't think the dolphins, they really pulled the film together. So that was my first time watching the 1988 film Picasso Trigger. It was definitely cheesy and full of ridiculous 80s moments and the soundtrack was non-stop. Like I think every scene had music behind it and just, you know, this really intense, what I'm assuming is stock music. Yeah, let me know what the budget for this was considering the amount of like explosions and stuff that went into this. But I did see in the credits that, you know, model cars and planes were used. So I'm assuming some of those were covering the explosions because yeah otherwise their budget would have just had to been insane but yeah like I said this movie is definitely not boring it's it's a lot of things but boring it is not and I don't think it's good but it's at least entertaining like sometimes these movies are just unwatchable that is not the case with this there's definitely some scenes I think we could have done without, but it was entertaining. There was action going on. Even if you didn't really know what was happening, like we had three bad guys basically. And four, if you include Picasso Trigger, who's like fake killed right off the bat, like five minutes into the movie, I was like, okay, they just killed off what I thought was going to be our main character. And, you know, this huge cast as well, which was a little confusing because it was like, how are they all connected? And they were all working for the FBI. But we have Toshi, we have Patterson, we have Miguel, like all of these three guys are what the FBI, you know, these guys are going after. And when we started it, you know, Miguel sends this tape and I'm like, okay, this is the path. Like they set it up, you know, we're going to go to Texas or going to go to Las Vegas and take out the guy involved in Miguel's case. And then halfway through, like these new characters are introduced with Toshi and Patterson. Like, oh, we need to add in more bad guys to this. Let the, you know, there's more action scenes. I didn't recognize any of the cast. So let me know what I would know them from if any of them went on to do anything and it definitely reminded me a little bit of Samurai Cop just with this like over the top you know action sequences and I wasn't expecting Picasso Trigger to be the name of a fish and also a character let me know in the comments if it's actually a fish it looked like they had one in the tank so I'm assuming it's real I don't know if the painting was real but I wasn't expecting that I thought it would be artwork by Picasso I didn't realize that this was yeah a name of a fish and we had all these like exotic settings as well. You know, we start off, we're in Paris and then we're in Hawaii and then we go to Vegas and Texas and, you know, those shots looked real. So yeah, I'm very curious to find out the budget or they just bought a bunch of stock footage. But even some shots of like the FBI, you know, flying in this plane and we had a ton of aerial shots as well. You know, when they're flying around these different locations and, you know, boats are involved, helicopters are involved, like all of these big action scenes. The acting was definitely very wood wooden and stiff but again you're I don't think this is a movie you watch for the dialogue I feel like there wasn't really a lot of talking even in most of the scenes like except when they all gathered together in that big like boardroom to basically set up the rest of the movie once that was done they just go off to do their thing and then to have the plot twist at the end with Picasso being like I've been alive this whole time and then 
we're thinking that he's out on the boat, but obviously that's not him. And then to have him be killed with this, like, rocket that they were able to trace to his pacemaker. What? How? That's not even a little bit possible. Like, what is going on? But again, if you love, you know, ridiculous 80s movies, this is definitely for you. And my favorite prop was that crutch that he turned into a weapon. And it looked like they just had, like, a calculator, you know, attached to the top of the crutch. And that's where he was, like, typing in the coordinates somehow. And... And, you know, was reloading the crutch gun and it could also shoot rockets, apparently, it was just amazing. I also love that scene where that guy's, like, eyes were poked out and he's just got blood gushing down his face and he comes storming through the room, can't see anything, and she makes a reference about him not being able to see anything and... He's just shooting aimlessly as like no idea what's going on. It was just so ridiculous. And that's like the only real blood and gore that we had in this film, which, yeah, I don't know what this was rated either, but judging by the amount of nudity, I'm going to guess this was rated R. We had that boomerang scene as well, where she's just like attaching, you know, an explosion to the boomerang and throwing it at this guy and the little remote car with explosions, like anything they could blow up, they tried to blow up as much as possible. Like a harpoon explosion for the hovercraft scene, like there was just so much going on. It was just chaos with everything exploding all at once. Basically, you just knew who the FBI people were and then who the bad guys were. And that's it. That's all you need to know to enjoy this movie and just enjoy Enjoy the ridiculous amounts of explosions. I wasn't expecting the twist at the end because movies like this don't usually have a twist, but to see Picasso come back to life, I was like, what is going on? I was like, oh, I just wanted you to take out my enemies and this was one way to do it. I was like, it's not a horrible plan. And it definitely seemed a bit anticlimactic to have him killed off right away. So I was like, where are we going? Like, this is the title of the movie. And then to find out he's just been involved the whole time. But to have him be, you know, killed off three times before it finally sticks. And of course, you know, by that rocket. I think one of the funniest parts was Travis's inability to actually hit a target. He was firing shots left, right, and center. And even one of the other agents makes fun of him and says, like, you shot that guy 20 times. And I know for a fact, like, you want to keep the suspense. You want to keep the fight scenes going and not have him, you know, take him out on the first shot. But I was like, you gotta, you gotta hit something. Like, the girl with the harpoon was able to take him out. And you're, like, 10 feet away with a shotgun and you can't do it. Like, it was just ridiculous. You know, firing round after round and nothing. And then we have, you know, that boat chase scene through the swamp as well as they're chasing after each other and trying to take out these like two henchmen who've been the most obvious henchmen in entire cinema history. They're just like sitting in the back and like staring at them and like not subtle at all. And like even when he leaves the room, he's like triple checking like to see if they're still there. And I don't even think they talked through the entire movie. They were just like lurking in the background of every shot. I loved the theme song ending. I'm pretty sure that was the only song that had words in it throughout the entire film. Everything else was just ridiculous 80s instrumental, but I love that and I love an original soundtrack as well. So that was super fun. And I didn't recognize the director's name, but I'm guessing this was, you know, an original screenplay that somebody wrote. So let me know what I would know him from and... And I don't know if there are sequels or remakes or anything like that, so let me know in the comments if you think I should watch those. When they were keeping Picasso, like, he just wasn't dying. I was like, okay, are they trying to set up for a sequel? So, obviously, we saw he did die at the end. But, yeah, let me know in the comments if somehow this becomes a sequel. We saw them all, you know, cheersing to a good job with the agents that were left and congratulating each other. The characters' names were definitely interesting. We have everything from Patty Cakes to Travis to Jimmy John, the golfer the professor like half of them are like code names like Picasso trigger and then other ones are just Travis you know like I was like where where are we going where's the theme why do some agents get cool names we did find out Picasso triggers real name as well but it was still just like where where's we going what's happening here patty cakes we're supposed to take patty cake seriously as an FBI agent and her matching outfits with like her partner and usually lower budget movies don't have a giant cast because that gets expensive again I don't know if these are super well known actors maybe it was relatively cheap to get all of them involved but I was just like oh so why are we adding new people constantly I felt like every scene a new character was involved and we're in a new location and it just felt like somebody writing a script with every sentence ending with and then like and then we're in Paris and then we're on boats and then a helicopter explodes and then like just constantly adding and never actually like finishing something except to blow it up they definitely love to blow stuff up 
I am curious about Pantera's name and she turned out to be, you know, double crossing them as well. She was working for the Picasso trigger and and his other girlfriend Dawn ends up killing her with her harpoon weapon of choice and you know she's just like oh sorry like you know she was betraying you and again definitely not the best acting but he had a whole you know love interest scene with Pantera and yeah I'm very curious to see if that's where the band got their name I don't know much about the history of Pantera so I have no idea but yeah let me know in the comments when we had the opening scene with the VHS tape, I was like, okay, this is it. We're going to set this story up. Like, Miguel basically, you know, explains the plot in the first five minutes of the movie. And then so many other things happen and we introduce all these characters. And yeah, I definitely felt a bit disconjointed. But again, it was entertaining to say the least. I also loved how our assassin was riding in the sidecar, like chasing the Picasso trigger to this art gallery. And he gives a speech about life and how he wants to, you know, give back. And he's just had this surgery and been recovering. And now he's discovered the meaning of life and it's to donate this fish painting. And then at the end, when we have the agent be like, oh, maybe it's a fake. Maybe it's like just so ridiculous. And the puns that they would page each other after they had killed somebody, like amazing. I love a ridiculous pun. Some of them were so over the top, but it's just so cheesy and ridiculous. Overall, I enjoyed it. It was definitely an cheesy 80s action movie with, you know, some very interesting characters that you meet bad guys halfway through the movie and everything blows up. I think the only thing higher than the body count in this film is the number of explosions because they were just never ending. Nobody else died any other way. They just blew them up. That was it. Like, how do we kill them off? Let's blow them up on the hovercraft. Let's blow them up on the speedboat. Let's blow them up in the helicopter. Like everything just blew up endlessly. I love the original soundtrack. Again, the acting wasn't amazing, but that didn't take me out of it. And yeah, I'm curious to find out if there are sequels or remakes or anything like that that you think I should watch. So thank you so much for sharing in this first time watching with me. If you have any other suggestions for movies you think I should watch, please comment below. And as always, please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. And check back often for more awesome content. Look at the sidecar! It's a fish. It's a painting of a fish. The puns after they kill people are too much. A onesie unzip a shootout in the swamp <laughs> i don't need this newspaper we've got danishes is he gonna kill people with his crutch and his orange juice it's like i don't need any weapons i got my shiny pants and my kicking shoes she's like let me get my harpoon ready